Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here, continuing with Crash 4. This is the level offbeat, and the levels just keep getting longer and longer. There's a lot of big ones coming up as well. But for this one, it is on the longer end, and there are a couple of sections where you're grinding a rail, so it can be very easy to miss one, and if you do, you'd have to restart the whole level, so that kind of sucks. But we're going to try to take you through the level here as quickly and efficiently as possible, making sure not to miss anything. At that first checkpoint, we have 10. And then you just have to learn all these new little mechanics in this level. There's a lot of jumping, but a lot of it is also side-scroll jumping, which I think, personally, isn't as hard as some of the 3D stuff. So hopefully you agree, and it shouldn't be too bad for you either. We're just going to continue on. I'll rejoin with commentary when there is a section you might miss. But for the most part, all the boxes are pretty obvious for the next little while. We've now reached the bonus level, we're at 99 out of 215. I did not pick up the checkpoint though before heading in, so keep that in mind. There are 18, this is probably one of the harder bonus levels in the game in my opinion actually. Uh, at least for my skill set, there's a lot of phasing back and forth and a lot of uh, jumps that you only kind of get one chance for. We're basically trying to make it all the way to the end and then go, come back to the beginning and then go back to the end and you should be good to go. You'll have 117 after the bonus area, 118 after the checkpoint.
Coming up right here, there is a hidden gem, which isn't all that well hidden, but you might actually miss it if you're not paying attention. You have to phase through the ghost to pick it up on the left of that ledge. I recommend doing a slide and then a double jump. Then we can continue the level as normal. Make sure you don't get too close to the cannon as they will shoot you. So you definitely want to stay far away from it when possible. Next up, coming up here, there's a couple of different ways to do this. You can do it with timing, but what I like to do is at this checkpoint, just stay as close to the wall as possible and go past the firebox. Then, once the firebox is nice and safe, smash it and go into the cannon. At this checkpoint, you'll have 149 or more if you accidentally triggered some nitro boxes. And we'll begin our first of two grinding sections. This one can be a little bit tricky. There's a lot of switching between up and hanging. There's a lot of little jumps that are very quick. And if you don't time the move before the move you're looking to do, it can sometimes be impossible to get what you're looking to get. Right here, you want to drop down under the railing. And then you'll have to phase through the boxes and through the enemies. So... Once you reach here, there will be a golden box as well as another checkpoint. You need to have 165 here. If you have 164, it means you probably missed one that was hanging on that grind wire. Then there is another grind wire here. A lot of movement up, down, and everything in between. A lot of nitro boxes to avoid. And at the very end, there is a gold, uh, a metal exclamation box as well which we'll need to actually spin through in order to destroy all the nitro boxes in the level. At the end, jump off the railing into the gem, and you should have all 215. If you were able to do this level without dying, and you got the hidden gem, you probably also got 80% of the Wumpa Fruit, and congratulations on your perfect relic. Thank you for watching. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Shout out to Puffy Vins and Elder Ghost.